Bottom left side, the blue Terran player fighting for Shopify Rebellion. His name is Bjorn. Top right side, we have a red Zerg player fighting for Team NV. He is the one and only DRG. DRG, of course, going through Keen in the uh, the previous match that he had. Beyond going uh, up against Zesta, and uh, well, we we saw how that ended up. A little bit closer than the one that we had for uh, for DRG and Keen. Let me put it actually up there. There we go. We all know that's the best of five right now. Two two barracks being constructed here. Uh, DRG already on patrol though. We'll have that drone scout out this area first and foremost. It's not taking any gambles anymore. Already got proxy two racks by Keen earlier today, and that did not end well. Uh, this time around, let's see that SEV micro here trying to get himself into his place of safety and RNG helping him out here. Dear cheats. You know what? Not that finest drone micro. It's taking him a little bit sometimes to adjust. More drones coming in. That SEV is going to go down very quickly now. One more SEV remaining and that is going to go down as well. Two barracks here. Not going to be able to get completed. Four drones absolutely stomping. Oh, well, all right. Well, that is, uh, yep, that is a GG. I love Bjorn. I love DRG. They might be my two favorite players in the world to watch. And seeing them together up against one another. It's always, uh, always one of the, one of the more fun experience of uh, getting to do this casting type of thing. All right. Shopify's Rebellion's Blue Terran player. His name is Bjorn. Did Bjorn win? Bjorn won uh, the series versus Zest. He just lost the game versus DRG, though, because, well, he tried to proxy two racks, and uh, all his SCVs got eaten. So, right, top left side. This is the, the guy that ha is, well, apparently uh, making more room for an appetite to eat up a couple more SCVs. The Red Zerg from Team NV. DRG. Again, going for the thorough scout. Does not want to get caught out. Actually, the scout is not as thorough as it was previously. But he's definitely trying to find all these locations. Is that DRG expecting a 5-5 five to five score in a best of 5? I hope not. So that would indicate he doesn't understand how a best of 5 works. <laughs> Uh. All right, what are we what are we doing so far? Very standard stuff, huh? We do have to double Rex play here for Beyond. That's the one thing that's a little bit out of the ordinary. Uh, but he will still have that command center here. Let's see if he well he what his plan is with this double Rex, shall we? I mean, could be Reapers. Okay, no, goes for the uh, reactor. Doesn't, uh, doesn't make a couple of Reapers here. Um, yeah, I'm anticipating just the, uh, right? Just two medevacs filled with Marines. Although we're not seeing a factory yet come along. Uh, we don't have the gas for it yet, so I suppose. Probably wants to start up, uh, something else here. There's the factory. All right, yeah. Anticipating the, uh, Marine medevac play. What are we going to be seeing for DRG here? Third base is in construction. All right. Just droning up. Droning up as the Zerg should. Drone up as much as you can. Get away with as much greed as possible. And then, um, you know, and cry when you overdid it a little bit. That is, that is the way. Will you organize a show match or something to showcase Demi style playstyle since he's on Alpha X now? I did not see him play since at least five years, at least. Uh, well, you need to have to go talk to Sushi about that one. Have to go talk to Sushi about that one. I'm sure he will. Like obviously, every player that is in Alpha X, 
Uh, one of the ways that we try to help them out is by offering them the opportunities for these show matches, right? So we allow them to participate in a lot of those show matches, a lot of those best of nine and those tournaments. Uh, and we always look out for that they have an opponent that we can, you know, we, we see them having reasonable odds of at winning. It doesn't, you know, we don't want anything uh, lopsided, of course. We want the equal matches, rivalries, preferably, people that keep going back and forth in map scores. And, uh, yeah, we, we, we most likely will have, uh, it's what I'm assuming, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just riffraffing here based on what happens in the past. Hmm. Spool crawlers coming up. With the wines as well. The Baneling Nest is being constructed here. DOG does seem to be playing a quite uh, quite a safe style overall. 46 workers only being made so far. It's going to go up to 50 pretty soon. But prioritizing the Zergling production at this moment. Well timed. Well timed indeed. Bit of creep getting destroyed overall, but I don't think uh, DOG is going to be taking any real severe damage other than that. A lot of creep tumors actually. That's every single one of them out in the open here now gone. More creep has to be placed down as quickly as possible. Only gets one creep tumor down. The other one uh, getting cancelled accidentally, I would assume. There we are. Okay, grabbing more space now. And whoop. <laughs> what? Alright. Stepping forwards. One widow mine here could be quite a lot of trouble for the Zerg. Nice retargeting, and that is a good connection onto a couple of those uh banging I believe. How many did he kill off? Only one. Alright, well. Not as great as I thought it was. Marines are still here, and they are still trading effectively. Oh, still an absolute nuisance. Why are we seeing a second Baneling Nest in construction? Wet. Oh, right, it was here, wasn't it? It got targeted down. Oh, my God, he lost the Baneling Nest. I didn't even realize. He did target down the Baneling Nest. Crazy. Crazy. That means there's no more Banelings here. That means he's just going to be trading non-stop until those Banelings are gone. Look at this stuff, man. Beyond just seeing an opportunity and go, oh my god, there we are. That's the stuff. <laughs> uh, six minutes game, and we have uh, Ling, mainling speed just starting up. Uh, <laughs> as this fire is almost done. And about a, um, what is this? What is the difference here? That is, that is an insane amount of difference. I mean... It's almost like a, what, eight-fold difference? No, wait, 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 wait. A five-fold difference? Somewhere around there. Like, s between the five and the eight, somewhere, we get to the amount of difference here of minerals and gas that was extra lost now by by DRG so far. Jeez Louise. Mutilisk are coming up, but I don't see Mutilisk really... You know, cleaning up these forces, at least they're gonna stop the Metafax from just picking up and dashing off. That's a good thing. Oh, that's more efficiency coming up here. Yeah, the efficiency, God. I don't even know how to say it anymore, man. Right, it kind of equaled out a little bit there. It's gonna equal out more now that these Metafax are gonna... Finally be taken out. Ooh, scary. Okay, just one bailing there being targeted. That's fine, that's fine. Um, attack on the left side. Finally cleaned up here. Worker count though for DRG. Only at a measly 65 in comparison to 68 of Bjorn. Base numbers are in favor for DRG just slightly as he only just started that fourth base. Fourth base for Bjorn could, uh, yep, yep, there we go. All right, not even that really any real advantage that 
may be claimed later on in the game. Um, alright. <laughs> that was random. I don't see that every day. Uh, beyond accidentally move commanding instead of uh, a moving. And like uh, a run by of banglings just kind of rolled into that army. That, wor that works. <laughs> Micro checks. <laughs> Strikes again. I mean, even Micro Jackson uh, <laughs> sometimes forgets to tie his shoelaces, I guess. Alright, well, here we are with another push. Quite a couple of Widow Mines here aiming to grab as much territory as they can and provide a good kiting pathway for those units. Oh my god, those Widow Mines! That is a very big blob of red right there. I used to be happy running around circling. Oh my god, look at the HP on those Mutalisk as well. Jeez Louise. Good stim underneath those bat boys and they are gonna melt. Yochi playing it safe though. So, uh, hugging the corners here of the Terran base. Trying to do harassment. Trying to force Beyond backwards. He knows he doesn't quite want to take the fight here just quite yet. But Beyond is gonna force him to... Look at the army supply by the way. It's 90 versus 120. It looks like Bjorn's army supply might still be on the opposite side of the map, though. Oh, no, wait, there it is. There it comes. A lot of those drones going down seven of them immediately, as well as this base. I don't see that surviving. Oh, the target fire does manage to get it quite nicely done. Losing that army is perfectly fine for that trade, I would say. Putting DRG back on a three base economy and a fourth base about to finish up. Pion, of course, already on the four bases himself, mining happily. Starting to make them into planetary fortresses here as well. Wonder when he's going to decide to try and take a fifth base here. Mutalisk harassments once again. Two Thors in the Metavax. Great way to try and uh, force those Mutalisk a little bit further backwards, right? Easier way to, to stop that damage from being dealt as quickly as possible. And minimize your losses. Very cool to see. Alright, another fifth base here for uh, for both of these plays being taken. Two Zerglings will be able to get the scout off here, but the Mutalisk actually. Uh, don't get much done just quite yet. Thor's coming in from two angles. And the uh, Mutalisk will still get away from here. Big attack in the middle. Banglings trying to make the connections first happen, but mostly connecting onto Marauders and the Thors. This is not a position where DRG would like to find himself. Those Mutalists were supposed to keep Bjorn busy on the other side of the map. And here he is, pushing on forward. Just, don't know how he did it, but just barely not blowing up against those Banglings there. Uh, needs to keep it going for a little bit longer with the mines. One more good widow mine could just finish off the game here, but wow, okay, yeah, there it is. GG is called. Bjorn takes uh takes game number two. Bottom left side, Shopify Rebellion. Bjorn. Top right side, Team NV, Red Zerg. DRG. Let me get Twitch chat back here. Kinda wanna miss you guys too much. Just did it too. Nice. Nice. Already done your part as usual. Like some people some people just are better at uh, at loving StarCraft 2, right? They just they just show more appreciation. Uh, and it shows. It shows statistically speaking, those people, um, you know, a lot more luck with the ladies and uh, just just more handsome overall as well. Their skin starts glowing for some reason. Very nice. A nice uh, Nice muscle tone definition as well. It just immediately starts appearing. Crazy stuff. But yeah, that's just uh, that's just what confidence uh, can do for you, right? That's what confidence does. And uh, nothing better to gain confidence than knowing that you've helped out StarCraft to uh, maintain its place in the esports universe by filling out a little code. It changed your life. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. 
you do it consistently enough, I mean, sooner or later, we're all, we're all gonna be looking like the rook uh, here. The entire StarCraft 2 community. Alright. That's how the rook managed to uh, to get that jacked as well, of course, by watching as much StarCraft 2 as he could and filling out as many Machirino codes as he could as well. <laughs> Special skin glow <laughs> when you started watching StarCraft 2. <laughs> Um, okay, well, three bases here for, uh, for DRG. Bjorn, let's see what he is up to. Very standard stuff, the Hellions coming in. I like it, I like it. Sign me up for more, Bjorn. Make it happen, make those Hellions get maybe, uh, maybe some uh, Banshee stuff, who knows. He's not getting Attack Lab just quite yet, so not really anticipating that anymore. Unless he just plops it down right over here. May still happen. Anyway, as I was saying, I like it when Bjorn does go for that early harassment. He's great at trading units, and I don't see a good... Well, I guess the one reason not to just only go for that is just then it becomes predictable, right? It becomes an easy target, easier to take out. You have to mix it up. But yeah, I, I love this stuff. This this feels like the bread and butter for, uh, for Bjorn, you know? The Bjad and the Bjorner. That was the worst thing I've ever said. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well, moving on. Uh, spine crawler. Okay, okay. Maybe getting a little bit worried about what may be coming his way. I guess he does see that uh, that armory there, so... It's a good indicator that something, uh, something could be amiss. Good amount of marines here as well. Looking for the extra damage onto those queens. Well, the hell bets, they need to arrive pretty soon. There they are, all right. No banelings yet. No bailing nest even available. Here we go. It's just up to the queens. The queens are pretty darn good at defensive things, of course, but they do require a bit. Oh my god, the medevac's already gone. Was that just six queens holding off this attack on their own? Did we see that correctly? He made a spine crawler there. He could have at least moved towards the spine crawler. Well. Uh, good effort there by Bjorn, but it looks like he is now yeah, potentially going to get eaten alive. Ooh, up the supply depot! Oh no, uh, he just wanted them to come in, actually. It's like, please, yeah, be my, uh, be my guest. Feel free to enter the oasis that is filled with juicy SEV pilots. They're right there. Maybe Autosis has always been correct and Hellbat attacks suck. Uh, I mean, uh, they don't against me, that's a problem. <clears throat> oh, a lot of Marines here getting destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. <clears throat> Which is the worst for Terran in TVC? Losing aliens or mines? Trying to kill drones early game? I think mines losing might be worse. This overall. And just because the mines have more value later on in the game. But, like, both of them's, like, not great, right? I think Hellion's cheaper as well, overall. Oh my god, there's a round! Oh, Bjorn, what is going on here, my friend? What is happening with you this game? Absolutely everything going to shambles. The Liberator harassment has been going on as well, but there's sport crawlers, there's queens, everything in between. Not much here that, to uh, be honest, uh, doing that we can say like, all right, well, this is this is okay. This is all right. This is, this is not too bad. He's got three, uh, no wait, he's got four Marines in total at the six and a half minute mark. Um... Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, and a Liberator. And a Liberator. Okay, he just doubled his Marine counts right there in a matter of seconds. That's pretty good. If you could keep doing that, then after a while, you'll you'll have a big enough army. Hmm. Pion's just happy beating Zest. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. I mean, I don't think Pion is somebody that would anticipate 
always winning against Zest or somebody like that, right? I think it would be more accustomed to losing to Zest, or at least anticipating this uh, more so. At, at least that's what he says when, you know, before we, we go into games. Alright, good clean up there by DRG. More than enough links. Does lose quite a couple of those bang links, of course, so... Still a, uh... Pretty okay trade for Bjorn in that sense right there, but... With the trades having gone as horribly as they have already, I'm, I'm not sure it's, uh... If that was gonna be enough to put him ahead in any sense, right? Full bases here for DRG available, and Bjorn is just, uh... Well, what is Bjorn doing? Making more barracks. Getting a siege tank army as well. That's hmm. All right, all right. I mean, there's a lot of chokes here. There's a lot of places for those siege tanks to siege up behind. Isn't this also the the map where Dream went back on against Rogue with like the battle cruisers and stuff? I mean, made it look like Mac was uh, pretty good on this map. So maybe a siege tank push can, uh, you know, utilize the terrain features in a similar way. Little run by of circlings there, trying to nibble on the barracks. Not quite gonna be enough, of course. Marines already available. Oh, we like that, targeting down a Mutalisk. I mean, the king of efficiency really trying to make something happen here, but... I'm not quite being able to do uh, much. Left side having more luck. Getting a couple of Zerglings trying to become Banelings and uh, you know, a few of those creep to miss as well. The creep for DOG here, I think that's worth mentioning. It's not that impressive, is it? Like, there's like one or two layers of creep worth here and there, but that's about it. Big wave of reinforcements comes in for Bjorn, ready to support this Balf bio near the Watchtower. That uh, DOG was just about to clean up, but then had to retreat, of course, with all the reinforcements coming in. DOG here, now hard pressed to make a decision. Does he go for the counter-attack or does he try to clean up this Terran force? Looks like he is torn between the choices a little bit. Try to go for a bit of an aggression there. But moves his forces back rather quickly. Mutalisk and the Zerglings here coming from a couple of angles. Those Queens, I'm not quite sure where they're trying to go to. The Queens trying to come in from below and that is interesting. I guess they did tank a little bit of the Siege Tank fire. And the Siege Tanks, they are gone now, but so are the Zerglings, so are the Banelings, pretty much. And the Mutalists aren't that high in supply either. More Banelings are being constructed, though, of course. We're still a few in the... Uh, behind the curtains, waiting on that creep layer. But, will it be enough? I'm not convinced just quite yet. Off he goes. Marines pushing in forwards once again. Need to stay spread. Need to spray, uh, spray spread as much as possible. <laughs> spray spread. Please. Spread out more. No, they need to uh, obviously spread out as much as possible here. One misstep from Bjorn could mean the end of things as well as for DRG here, of course. One bad roll into the Terran is going to be the end of everything. And it looks like it is as bad as it's going to get. They're splitting and pulling back from Bjorn as immaculate as we know it can be. Will he be able to just keep this going now? This is one of those pincer moves that we know Bjorn is so ever good at. Never giving a moment's rest anymore to his opponent. Just forcing the continuous trade and just trading efficiently. Slowly but surely his opponent is going to run out of gas. He's just not going to have enough. To push this back. More banelings coming up. But the army supply is dwindling for DRG. DRG spending most of the banelings there. Just cleaning up a small scouting force of marines. While the real force is still in the back. 
Burroughs Banelings may be the one way for uh, for DRG to, <laughs> to actually get a good connection here. But look at that. The scanning from Bion is all continuously just coming in. And... Ah, wow. Coming in one more time, the Banelings. I mean, it's a slow death, but it feels like the death is inevitable at this moment in time. DRG has to come up with some sort of a plan. Some sort of a surround, maybe anything, to stop those marines from running back as much as they want to. Is this an 8 Rex? Yeah, it is 8 Rex. <clears throat> Let's take another look at the unit's loss tab here. I mean, look at that. It was only like 1k when we started it at uh, different apart. And now we're more than 4k minerals extra lost by DRG. And... I mean, sure, he has one extra base going for himself, but it's not like he's already made 4k extra minerals from that place. There's more and more stuff here. It's coming in for Bjorn. He is just parade pushing, and DRG is desperate to clean this up. With every time he moves forwards, every single siege tank shot is one-shotting those banelings here. And he's losing them by the dozen. All right, moving on forwards once again here. Will DRG still be able to clean this up somehow, some way? Again, nothing coming in from behind. DRG, does he even have enough to send anything from behind? I don't think he does. Coming in here, final hurrah. All the banelings there, pretty much gone now. As the base will fall, it will drop. And a couple of banelings, they got a little bit closer there. I mean, I'm saying, like, I'm phrasing this as if, like, there's no way for DRG to make anything happen anymore. But, I mean, one good bailing connection, and this could still all fall back into DRG's favor. But, well, maybe not anymore since he lost the base now. But, like, yeah, just like that. You see bailing so incredibly strong. But, I mean, Beyond just so incredibly good with that micro. Not letting those things ever get a connection like that up until the mo well kind of this moment right where it's like all right i took out the base and now he's just maybe a bit too eager to finish off his opponents but i mean drg knows he knows he's in a lot of trouble gg is called all right nothing crazy except for the fact that beyond is going for a command center first either that or i just don't understand what he's doing <laughs> There we go. All right, command center first from beyond, and that is, well, on the other side of the map, guys. Um, you know what? Sometimes, sometimes stuff works out. Sometimes stuff works out. Sometimes you want to game number five, and you know what? Maybe it's not the game number four that we were hoping for, <laughs> but the likelihood of a game number five right now is it's quite high. It's quite high. Barracks on the way. Uh, I mean, the barracks just getting started as the uh, the zerklings are almost uh, almost completed. Um, yeah, yeah, this could be a, this could be a problem. This could be quite a ordeal. I wonder if he's just gonna tap out. It's, I mean, Is there a way for Bjorn to hold this? I mean, he's making a he's making a wall. Maybe the command center can finish up here, and he can just lift it up. That would be that would be the best case scenario. He might be able to do that if it, if this command center finishes up here. Time is ticking. It's gonna make it. All right, it made it. This might be fine. This might be fine. This this might be okay. <clears throat> The fish, once again, swimming upside down to make it look like he is about to die. And then he just, uh, he just doesn't. He's waiting for link speed. I don't, I don't, he knows this is a command center first, right? Is he gonna just try to run up into the main base? I mean, just getting the, the second command center to lift up, right? That's not gonna be enough here for DRG. He needs to do more than that. He needs to do more than that, and he is waiting. What in the world is he doing? He's made these circlings. They're sitting here. They're not doing anything. Link surprise. <clears throat> you think he's waiting for Bjorn to make a move out? Or he's waiting for more SCVs to be on the, uh... 
on the mineral fields. You think that's it? I think that might be it, actually. Just waiting for more stuff to be down here so he can get more stuff to kill. So he can actually get some value. That's actually really smart from DLG. Wow, yeah, I really like that from DLG. So yeah, now gets um, that supply depot delay right there. He gets two SCVs. So that is a bit of a supply block for Beyond here coming up. Let's see if he throws down one of those uh, extra mineral, uh, extra supply blocks. Calls in the extra supply. Oh, if he gets that supply depot. He wants it. He wants it. He's looking for it. No, he's not going to get it though. Too many Marines. All right. Well, sometimes, uh, sometimes you, you just think the extra supply blocks. Yeah, that doesn't work. That's it. <laughs> That's a weird way of saying it. I thought it's just like it looks like a block that just drops from the sky, which is extra supply, and it's a block. So I just. But yeah, I. I uh, that's probably not a very clear way of putting it. <laughs> uh, all right. Well. Marines here, they do have stim. They do have stim. Coming across. I think DOG just isn't a 12 bullet. He doesn't know how to slam it home. Yeah. I mean, that command center was just done, right? It was just done. Like, what, what else was he supposed to do? Just nibble on the wall of the barracks? Right? Maybe get some SCVs to stop mining there for a little bit. Or he waited with those SCV or with the uh, with the links. Wait for more SCVs to show up. Wait for some maybe some Marines to come down the ramp as well. And then he might be able to surprise his opponent there and actually get some kills, right? Get a beneficial uh, trade going. And it's somewhat what happens. More than 100 extra minerals lost here for Bjorn. That's not nothing in this early part of the game, right? That's a pretty big deal. Two medevacs behind the mineral fields. Trying to get something done. But again, the, the swarm of queens that DOG loves to make is uh, it's just tormenting any type of harassment. Uh, trying to make something happen. Could have went for the SCVs going up to ramp first before the depot. Yeah. Probably. Maybe he didn't see them, right? There's a little bit of a vision thing. With, uh, I think... Because the supply depot was here with the overlord, he may not have seen this, right? He, may, he maybe just did, couldn't see it. So he didn't know the option was there. But then again, you could make the case he should have checked if the option was there. Because, I mean, there are mineral fields. Slightly that SCVs are there as well. Oh, this is a bit scary. No bailing speed just quite yet. Those marines are just running around trying to get rid of all the queens. He's getting rid of all the queen energy, at least. There we go. Two of them go down now as well. The healing is uh, keeping up. Oh, ho, ho, a third falls. Oh, Zerglings are trying to get on top of the siege tanks, though. But the marines do arrive in time, and both the siege tanks survive. Oh, boy. That is a good trait there for Bjorn. Look at the cost efficiency once again. Absolutely off the board. The killing of the Banelings. Nothing survives. GG is called. DRG trying his best there. But Bjorn, it did arrive in time with those Marines. Saving the siege tanks. Taking it home.